so welcome to a new SUMO meeting today, December. It's very cold here in Germany. As you can see, I have my sweater up to my teeth. Um, I hope it's better <laughs> everywhere else. <laughs> it's been a miserable day. Um, so let's get started with, um, with a great SUMO meeting. We have no previous action items, so we can jump right in. Um, so we'll start with SUMO Dev. Kadir, are you on the call? Yeah, I'm here. Can you can you guys hear me? Now we can see you. Uh, yeah, but you can hear me. Yeah. Yes, we can see. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, I don't have my usual headset, so I wasn't sure if this was actually working. Okay. Um, Sumo development update. Uh, it's been. Really exciting few weeks. We have updated uh, to the new show for implementation that you've probably seen, and uh, what's still up and on the roadmap is the new forum UI coming this week, and also the new uh, localization uh, dashboard UI um, that's also in the next sprint starting tomorrow. So if you want to take part in that, uh, it's uh, the link is in there in the UX section, and it would be great to have you. Um, if you are a localizer especially, it would, be glad if, it would be great if you could take part in that discussion. It's coming really soon now. Last minute feedback is still welcome, but really soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm, actually, I'm really happy to hear that the new forum UI is coming, finally. Um, there were a, a few discussions around like the whole escalation procedures and all that, so I think this will clear a few things for a lot of people. Um, once we have that up, because uh, right now with the whole tagging can be a little bit confusing. So yay, exciting times. Um, anybody has any comments or questions for Kadir? No, come on. Oh, I put it, well, I put it way down on the knowledge base section, but um, on the new show for just to explain what that does for us. Um, it's, it's mainly a big change on the back end, but um, it allows us, we added support for Firefox OS. So now we can have a uh, show for, for like Firefox OS 1.1 and 1.2, that kind of thing. Um, but it also, it also simplified some like administration stuff. So setting the default um, thing that articles use or, or adding new versions of of um, show for to the wiki is super easy. Um, and if you see any bugs, uh, please let us know. I listed down there two bugs um, that we have found, small things that um, are getting on the list to be fixed. Um, but if you see any other bugs in the implementation, let us know. But I think we've caught all the big everything and it's working really good now. Awesome. Great stuff. Um, so I'm just looking to see if uh, any contributors are on the line. I don't see any. So if, if anybody's here, please make yourself known. Um, we always love it when you guys are around. Uh, so please do let us know. Or you can also write in the either path, because uh, I see a lot of people are actually checking it right now. So don't forget. Don't be afraid to speak. Cool. Uh, let's move on to the next one, which is UX update. Kadir, that's still you. Uh, yeah, nothing new here. Uh, that's the one that I just mentioned about the uh, localization dashboard uh, changing. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're interested in that thing, please, uh, you can read the blog post and then please comment on the bag. That's where the discussion is happening. Awesome. Thank you. All right, I was just checking to see if there are any roundtable topics. There seem to be nothing for this week. Nothing important going on, come on. I'm sure there yeah. is. Um, yes. So I think that a lot of people are putting now uh, many roundtable uh, table uh, items on the Sumo community uh, update. So I think we're going to get a lot of them there, Mendelina. OK, awesome. I was a, I was scared for a moment. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Then we can move on to Firefox desktop. Who wants to take this one? 
I, this stuff? I can, I can take it. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> last week, some progress done on, on Windows 8 uh, interaction for the first run and what it's going to mean for support. Because as you guys know, Windows 8 is, is heavily based on on touch. So that's going to change uh, some things and how it's, we explain things is more, it's going to be more like a hybrid. Uh, if you guys have anything on that field, you just talk to Michael. He's he's the one leading the the project. Uh, similar thing with uh, the forum. Uh, we we Madalena, Rachel, Patrick, uh, Kadir are are working on how how to escalate threats. Uh, so if you guys have a, uh, issues, there is a thread on on the on the forum. There's a continuous fine tuning of that system, that mechanism. So refer to that forum post in the contributors forum, not the support forum, uh, for more feedback or questions or problems that you're encountering with that. The more feedback, the better. <coughs> and finally, Firefox 26 is coming tomorrow uh, with all the goodness. I don't think that there's are big major things, but you never know. So yes, keep your eyes open if anything crazy happens with the Firefox 26 launch and make sure to report it. Cool. Um, thank you, Ibai. Are there any questions about Firefox desktop, our main and most important product? Okay. If there aren't any questions that I'll move on to Firefox OS. Uh, Michelle, are you on the line? Ralph is. Ralph? Okay. Because I know Hermine, I cannot make it today. So I guess it's on you, Ralph. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any, uh, any specific updates uh, for Firefox OS. Uh, yeah. The thing that's on there is the thing that I had put down in the knowledge base section. Just <clears throat> we have a new information architecture for Firefox OS that we are trying to implement uh, this quarter. So um, we're going to try to, there's some little things to figure out with it before implementing it. So we're trying to do that this week and, and get it done. It shouldn't take but a couple of hours, half a day to actually do. Um, but yeah, so that's just coming. Crazy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, any questions for Firefox OS? Cool. If there aren't any questions, uh, I would ask everybody who's not speaking and typing to please mute because it's a bit annoying. <laughs> um, OK. So continuing in the mobile world, we have Firefox for Android, which I see it's read only. Uh, so I assume, Roland, you have nothing to say. Everything can be read there on the either pad. Oh, well, I can talk forever if you want. <laughs> Coffee's good. Uh, no, um, the <laughs> Firefox 26 articles are done. Thanks, Michael Verde, for working with me and others. And uh, if I'm bracing myself for a wee bit of why wasn't I consulted about the new homepage uh, feedback, but we shall see. should be interesting on it tomorrow. Done. All right. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, moving on to Thunderbird, it is also read-only, so please do read. Uh, thank you, Roland, for updating the Etherpad. This makes this meeting very efficient. Um, so you will be, um, or I don't know, the updater of the week for making everything we do. <laughs> this goes to you. Okay. Um, let's move on then to metrics. So yeah, actually, it could also be all uh, read-only, but this is exciting, so I want to say a few words. Uh, you probably have seen on the KPI dashboard already that we've been trending up in the article helpfulness, but, but we're also trending up in the activity helpfulness, and it's correlating very well with the uh, localization coverage. 
Um, so because all of this is smooth, there is nothing that uh, jumps up from one day to the other. I'm assuming it is actually correlated, um, although it's very hard to say because of all the influences there are. Um, but I've been looking specifically at the Spanish one, uh, which, which has been uh, continuously going up in uh, localization coverage and continuously going up. Um, and it actually pushed up the article levels as far as we can tell. They're both happening at the same time, at least. Um, correlation is not causation, you know that. But it's really <laughs> awesome. It's really awesome to see that, nonetheless. Uh, article helpfulness is really up there. Uh, it's been the highest ever, as far as I can tell, uh, with a few exceptions uh, from blog posts and stuff. So yeah, uh, collective high, high five, everyone. This is awesome. Very cool. <laughs> Awesomeness. <Thank> Great. <laughs> um, all right, any questions for Kadir? If not, I'll move to the most and more exciting part of this meeting coming on right now. It's the community part. Um, dance, everybody. So we'll start with very exciting news uh, that came out from the body meeting last Friday. And I see Yusef is on the line. So maybe Yusef, you want to talk about this one. Um, the Sumo newsletter. Uh, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, very cool. Okay, so one of the things that we were um, sort of discussing um, last week in the buddy meeting was that there's, there's sort of, not everybody knows what's going on within Sumo, unless they sort of like keep up to date in the forums or watch all the Monday meetings and things like that. So we just thought one of the, one simple way we could get everyone to know what's happening and how they can get involved in things that they may not have known about otherwise was just simply a newsletter that's going that would go out to contributors. So I've put a bunch of stuff there. There's a mock-up made by Jan, who, who's a Sumo contributor. He's been really helpful with this. So feedback is appreciated with that. You can post it into the thread there. And we're also looking for just ways that we can get content. So. One of the ways I'm thinking of is maybe getting you guys to um, just sort of like maybe post in a thread or something about headlines that things that you guys are doing that we can get um, people to write about. So I'm not quite sure that will work yet, but that's one of the ways that we could think about doing it. And yeah, hopefully it'll keep everybody more informed about things. Yeah, I think that's that's an awesome idea, and I'm very happy that this came up um, last Friday because this is something that I think it's really really needed. So thank you guys for taking care of it, and thanks Jan for the mock-up. It's awesome. I was actually wondering who who was the person who did it. That's really really cool. It looks amazing. Yeah, I just, I wanted to say yeah. I well first it, it was amazing the conversation. I think someone just popped that idea in the body meeting and everyone just got super excited and you got this going and I'm, I'm impressed you know it's just a weekend and the mock-up is there and yeah Jan this looks really awesome thank you so much for putting your design powers here I really think it's great um, and going back to Yusuf to your point how we can get this uh, um, you know how we can gather all the information I think that we're gonna have around four ether pads a month with the community meeting, right? So I think that's a great place to, to get started. So I think if we have a, a task force, what we can do is we can go through the four etherpads and pick up like the highlights, right? Um, and maybe yeah. one week before the newsletter gets sent, we have a, a particular group of people and we send them an email and say like, what do you think it should go in this newsletter? Or we ask in the forums. And then I guess the, the, the task force would um, be able to do that. But I think this is just amazing. And since we can send now HTML, uh, emails from Sumo, uh, it's going to be much cooler, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, really, it will look really, really cool. So yes, everybody, if you could give your feedback on the on the thread that is there uh, in the either path, please do. This is very important. And especially want to hear from contributors what are they interested in and what kind of content mm -hmm. either looking for in the monthly new newsletter, because this is something that is for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, thank you everybody. Well done, Task Force news newsletter gurus that you are, um, and let's let's get this started. 
Yeah, and I, I would suggest that if anyone's interested in this, maybe we can uh, go back to our buddy meeting this, this week, right? Uh, and we can, uh, you know, gather a little bit more of the ideas so we get this organized and maybe we start the year with a newsletter. How about that? Yep. Yeah, so, buddy, sorry. Um, but quickly, it's definitely, it'll be pretty easy to get started. We could, we can get everything done in pretty much a week, except for the content. So, I mean, we can start at any time. Well, I, I, th that's great. Well, I mean, if if that's the, the only problem is the content, I think that everyone at the Sumo team and I, I, I maybe I'll, I'll make sure that it happens. We could make one newsletter uh, for the whole year, right? So we we sum up the great things that we've accomplished this year at Sumo, right? Um, and then we try to figure out which content goes where, and then you know we can send it out at the end of the year. And I think that's a way great a great way to finish the year, sum it up, and then we start with this new initiative of the newsletter. So I think that. It's two birds with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, we could totally do like uh, the 2003 uh, Sumo newsletter and 13. then 2013, sorry, English, not my strongest point. Um, so, yeah, to finish up the year and then start fresh in 2014. Cool. All right. Um, <coughs> anybody has questions about this? If you do have any questions or feedback, please write in the thread. Um, so I'll move on to Sumo SIG. Rosanna, you want to take that one? Yes, for sure. So uh, just a quick update. Uh, last week we had this great meeting where we talked a lot about the, you know, the newsletter. The idea came up. Um, but to keep you guys updated, we have an SIG, which is a special interest group on the reps, as I mentioned last week. And we're going to be relaunching it. We had a lot of great conversations, and we have an Etherpad. We did the SWOT analysis. If anyone's interested, um, please don't hesitate to come. And I'm sure that that's going to be part of the body conversations uh, in the next week. So please. Just uh, let us know if you're interested. And just a quick update. Uh, we had also last Friday the Sumo Asia Contributor Meeting. As always, it's great. Um, I encourage anyone who's interesting to see how amazingly well organized the Asian community is to go there. It's also a pleasure to see people from Taiwan and people who speak Farsi, uh, you know, from Iran, like working together. You know, that, that's how big Asia is. Um, and it's, it's, it's really awesome. It's great to see. So if you have some time, if you want to you know, learn a little bit about the Asian communities, you can go to the Etherpad and, and check that out. It's, it's, there's a lot of uh, excitement, and they're really super well organized. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to see that. So I just wanted to, uh, if you want to get inspired, just go and visit that Etherpad or attend one of the meetings, which is the, the, the coolest. Yes, and Asian communities, we love you. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thank you, Rosanna, for the updates. I will move on then to knowledge base. Um, we actually just talked about everything that's on here earlier. So, so read only. <laughs> Another efficient meeting. Okay, so um, if you need, if you are interested in updates about the knowledge base, please um, read the either pad. Michael has already put everything there. Uh, okay, let's move on to Elton N. Uh, no, no, no big news this week apart from the dashboard, what Kadir just mentioned. So go and give us your feedback. We saw a lot of great feedback on Bugzilla, and it's still time to do so. So thanks a lot, everyone, for giving us our feedback, and just go and do it. Great, thank you. All right, um, I'll move on then quickly to the support forum. Uh, we have a new forum in our Sumo family. <laughs> I think it's the fifth um, in a different language than English. So this is very exciting. Uh, so welcome, Serbian forum, Serbian Cyrillic. So to, in order to be very clear, that means those letters that nobody understand. Um, <laughs> so welcome. <laughs> I'm very happy to have another forum added. Um, it has just been launched today. So thank everybody uh, for who participated in making this happen. And thank you, Ricky, for switching it on so quickly. Um, so this will be 
especially uh, for Firefox OS questions, because we have just launched in Serbia, but of course any questions are welcome. So yeah, a new forum. I'm very happy to see that. Uh, and yeah, let's see what happens. And there will be more next year. It'll be like thousands oh, yeah. of forums. Oh yeah. Uh, so that's one, and then on the English forum, we're doing pretty well. Uh, last week, we managed to finish the whole week with 100% response rate in 72 hours, so not 24. 24 is still on, uh, around 97%. Uh, but yes, 72 hours, 100%. That means that all the questions coming in have received a reply. It was not in 24 hours, but it was a reply. So that's great progress. Uh, so thank you guys. That's amazing work. Um, I do hope that this whole, all these changes that will happen with the escalation and the new statuses and the new view will, will help you even more um, so that we get to get to not 100% reply rate in 24 hours, but 100% solved rate. That would be it. Okay. So can I have a round of applause for everybody involved in the support forum? Yeah. There was less behind. <laughs> cool. All right. Then let's move on to help desk because it's very very related. Yeah, we've been we've been uh, answering the escalated emails that have been coming in, uh, and thank you for to all the contributors who have been helping out watching that. Uh, that those filters to make sure that all of those get answered. Uh, we're working on some guidelines for how to use escalations and when to use escalations. Uh, so if you have any thoughts, uh, please go to that etherpad and take a look at add, add your notes. Uh, and then automatic escalations. I, Kadir, maybe you can answer. I saw Ricky was working on this bug last week. I'm not sure if he actually got it implemented in it or not. Uh, yeah, it, it has actually, he, he got it, but uh, since we're not deploying on a Friday, uh, it's been weight deployment. Okay. Uh, okay. So we should be seeing that this week. Uh, we should actually see that today, later today. Excellent. Awesome. So we'll have the automatic escalation happening. Um, I'm very excited about that. Let's keep an eye to see what, how will that go. I expect a lot of feedback. So please, everybody who's using the forums and will use uh, all these escalations and automatic escalation, please give us feedback. It's very important that we know how this works for you uh, because um, we can adjust if anything it's it's not working or things could be better. So please let us know. There are a couple of threads that Patrick opened. I know there are a, a few discussions also going on. So just speak up uh, and we'll make sure that we, uh, we tweak anything that needs to be tweaked. All right, so we have come to the contributors of the week. <laughs> <laughs> So, who made it on the list and who suggested them? I see a few nominations here for Philip and Alice and John 99 and this gesture. Rachel, was it you? Did you nominate? Hello, Rachel? Okay. Uh, she must I, have dropped off. She did nominate those people. Yeah, yeah I did. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, please, please speak up. <laughs> So the, I noticed that these six people had a lot of uh, responses on a lot of the escalated threads the last week, and I just wanted to recognize them for um, being attracted to those uh, harder questions and helping out an extra 100%. So thank you very much for that. Right, so thank you guys. Uh, Philip, well done. You're, I think you're the first contributor who, who's actually, who actually stepped up to handle uh, escalations, that is, hardest questions, so kudos to you. Uh, Alice, thank you for escalating threads and keeping an eye on everything as usual. Enjoy 99, Gesture, Corel, for awesome continued support. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll move on to, I think, Rosanna, you nominated Robert and the Buddies. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I wanted to nominate Robert. Robert, uh, you've been coming to our community meetings sometimes and to the buddy meetings, and I think that you've brought a lot of your great energy. Uh, it's really, it's it's very, very nice to have you on board, and um, uh, I think you're, you're bringing a lot of good energy, so thank you, and um, I'm nominating you for that because I think that's great. And again, I want to nominate the buddies because this whole newsletter thing was just beautiful. Someone, you know, throws an idea and you all picked up and you were like, you know, think you all got so excited and, you know, we already have a mock-up of how the newsletter could look like. So, you know, all of you, I know Robert, Jay, uh, Yusuf, uh, Jan, uh, Andrew, uh, you were like, you know, throwing all these ideas. So thanks a lot. I think this is, um, this is amazing that this is coming from you and, you know, just keep that good energy because that's how we're going to grow and how we're going to attract new people, because it's very nice to be around people like you. I concur. So yes, thank you guys. Thank you, Robert. Um, I hope that we'll see you in Berlin soon, as you promised. And thank you, buddies, for, for all your energy and for participating every Friday with all your great ideas. Sure. We love you, as you know. Um, so we have two more nominations. I think one is from Ralph. Yeah, um, I, uh, I'm nominating Oweston again because uh, he's been doing an amazing, amazing job uh, just uh, leading translation efforts, uh, doing tons of translation. And then this week he uh, even jumped in the forums. So, uh, oh, and he also attended the first uh, meeting hangout for, uh, for the PTER this past weekend or this past week. So, yeah, amazing job. Great, yeah. multitasking Austin, doing <laughs> everything. <laughs> well done, uh, thank you. And Yusef, you nominated Jan. Jan, sorry. Yeah, I mean, we've already talked about the mock-up, so I'm just nominating him because it's awesome, and he did it on the weekend, so. Thanks. Yes, so we need to Plus talk about Jan. Really <laughs> exactly. Jan, well done, thank you. It's an awesome mock-up, and the fact that you also worked on the weekend at uh, plus one to that. So thank you very much for, for this effort. This is really, really helpful. So here they are, the awesome contributors of the week. Round of applause. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, uh, for all, all your great efforts. You will be featured on the newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. At a point. No leaders. pressure. Um, so I guess this is the end of the meeting. We are only three minutes over, so not too bad. Um, there are no action items for this. I mean, for this week. So I guess I'll see you next week. Have an awesome week and weekend. Um, don't get too scared with Christmas. Yes. Yeah, and uh, maybe we should start a, just one last thing. Maybe that's an action item. Maybe we should start a, a, a post on the forum, a thread on the forum, uh, to ask everyone what should come in the 2013 end of year newsletter. What do you guys think was, you know, the greatest achievement? What we've done well? What you want to see there? Right? Yep. We can do it in the the thread that's already open for for newsletter. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. So please, everybody, uh, write down what do you think should be in the 2013 celebration newsletter. Uh, just put it there. Anything uh, worth celebrating or anything not worth celebrating, but you want to mention. Um, so we'll have the, the content ready um, before the end of 2013. And I'll put this as an action item. All right. Well, that being said, uh, again, have a great week and a great weekend. And I'll see you online on IRC, on the forums, and everywhere else. And yeah, I guess that's it. A la prochaine. Have a good one, everyone. Au revoir. Bye. 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 Bye